I can't help it. I gotta try it. Let's go. It looks like nothing in camera snuff here. It's about as gnarly a thing as you can take a truck camper through. Not even joking. Holy crap. This thing is a beast. I can't imagine if I had lockers in this thing. Holy crap. Anyway, now we gotta go. Pretty off camber, pretty rocky. We get in there though, it just looks like the pass is somewhere up here, I don't know. One thing you know you're at a high elevation when there's snow at the end of the summer in Colorado. I think we're almost there folks. Holy crap. So as you guys know I started on the Alma side and I'm heading towards uh, Leadville, Colorado. I don't know if I would recommend this in a truck camper or not. If you're down to rally your camper and I mean like rally it, sure go for it. If you uh, don't want to rally your camper I would not recommend this trail so far. I haven't even dropped down the backside yet so we'll see. Man, I can't even believe it. Guess what? We made it. <laughs> That's so awesome. It's the highest elevation I've ever been. Mosquito Pass. Six horse teams pulling loaded wagons came up this pass. That's insane. That is insane. Absolutely gorgeous up here, if you can't tell. Ooh, looks like a little memorial. Carried mail and gold over this pass, 1864. What a beast, what a beast. Can you imagine coming here back in the day? I don't really know which way we go. I think we go left. Honestly, don't know. 
Maybe mosquito passes this way. I'm gonna chill here for a second, enjoy the view, it's beautiful, but the weather's moving in, so uh, I probably need to start getting down. So it'd be a little bit confusing if you didn't have a map for the area. The mosquito pass sign is right there. There's a trail that goes off to the right up the mountain, a trail that goes off to the left. You don't do any of those, you almost can't even see it. You just go straight. So straight off in front of the sign, right down towards the highway. Here we go. Those big crazy switchbacks are coming up. Hopefully it's not too crazy. At least we're going downhill this time. And so, so far this backside, uh, the side going towards uh, Leadville has been way better. This is the first switchback, pretty chill. This is supposed to be the worst one, I think. That is a really short turn for my giant truck with some really big boulders and I need to be like over here. This is gnarly right here. Is this where he's going? I would it. I'd go low go to the Yeah, man, this <laughs> was the longest one made. Oh, it's not even very damn to back up. I think we just completed the final switch back. That's insane. Ooh, that is a relief. At least we're, I think we're off the worst part of it at least. You can see Leadville way down there. Looks like we're getting down to a little bit lower country. Got a couple of lakes down here. I don't know what they're called. Can't remember, but we ain't done yet. It's still really rough, but it's a uh, little lower consequences. We're not gonna go flying off a thousand foot cliff anymore. So that's kind of nice. I tell you one thing, this might be the rockiest trail I've ever driven. Like it is a rocky son of a gun all the way to the bottom.
There you go. We're just about down to the base. You can see the pass up there. This is the bumpiest trail I've ever ridden in my life. Absolutely would not recommend it for a truck camper. At least a hard-sided tall one like this. You just get keep on getting swung around a bunch, but see all those Jeeps are airing down. Just about out of here. Looks like a paved road up there, a dirt road. And just like that, we have hit a somewhat reasonable road where I can go three miles an hour or more now. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Woo. I don't know what to say. That was uh that was a trail. If I was doing that in one day, I would have been feeling pretty worked right now. That was nice breaking it up into a couple different days like that, camping out up there. And here we are, rolling into Leadville. We made it. Look at those storms rolling in out there. Good timing, bro, good timing. And I swear this world is so small, so I just stopped off on the side of Leadville, ate my barbecue sandwich, got a coffee, and out of the door walks someone that watches my YouTube channel and with him is Matt from a, a band that I toured with in Alaska 10 years ago I don't even know small world and talk about getting off mosquito patch just in time look at that gnarly storm holy crap let's get out of here 